Hello and welcome back to Dynamic CCTV's technical blog. In this video we're going to show you how to A. Delete a device from the Hick Connect app and B. Delete the account itself. So the first thing we're going to do there is we're going to put our finger on the drop down arrow next to the device's name and just drag it over to the left. If you can see there, doing that has gave us two icons. We've got the share icon and we've got the settings cog. What we're going to do is select the settings cog which will take us into the device settings itself and if you can see there we've got the name we've got linked camera lamp notification and so on but if we scroll down to the bottom underneath remote configuration we've got a big red button that says delete device so if we select this option here it's going to confirm that we want to delete the device we've got the console and we've got the ok option if we select ok as we can see there it had a little bit of a loading time and it's deleted the device so after we've done that we want to select the more option on the bottom of the three options there and if we go into our account management if we scroll if we see at the very bottom there underneath fingerprint authentication we've got an option here called delete account permanently if we select into there we've got our different cautions uh, saying that it's basically an irreversible process once it's deleted you can't log back into it and so on and so forth if we select a submit request at the bottom it's going to ask us do we want to confirm the deletion we click confirm and what it does is because we've done it by a phone number it's going to send us a security code to the number itself however if you, if you were to do it by the email address it would have sent you the secure, the secure code to the email address once we've got the security code we've typed it in we're going to select the delete account option and there we go we've been confirmed that the account has been deleted permanently if we click finish uh, it's took us to the login page we can then go through registering a new account or logging into another account that's all for this video, however we will be covering further HitConnect topics in the future, so stay tuned for those in the future.